basically the blender stuff is like folders you have one folder called base zero zero and inside of base zero zero is a folder called start zero one and inside of start zero one is where your exported model goes but they're not called folders in blender they're called empties which that's how I think of them I mean say you load blender well you don't you don't need a light or a camera the game has that stuff so just say you made this cube you know you modeled this perfect box and you want to get it in the game well if you want to run into it you need to well make a duplicate by hitting shift D and then right clicking that'll set it uh, where the other one's at you name one of them don't matter what the first one's called but the collision the one you run into needs to be called C-O-L-M-E-S-H dash one now any object can be the collision mesh like if there was a tree you wouldn't need the whole tree to be the collision mesh you could just make a primitive thing like a you know like a cylinder like this to be where the trunk is and that'd be the collision mesh I mean it ain't got to be the object what I'm saying is you don't have to make a duplicate of the object to have a collision mesh it can be anything but in this case it's easier to just duplicate it it's a box so a box duplicating it that's <laughs> you know it can't get easier than that and then you just add an empty up here add empty plane axis you need to do this twice and these are what I was saying are like the folders you have one folder called base zero zero and then you have to double click and name one start zero one now think of this as your like think of this is this you know how this is right like this is your desktop then you open your desktop and you got base zero zero and start zero one but instead of this PC it is collection <laughs> well I'm sorry scene collection and then collection but you don't make these these are already here so it's a folder and a folder and then inside of that folder is this and this and this and this so what you have to do you just hold down shift select the one you want to move and you put it inside of there and see now you can see how you open this and it's just like the desktop here you see how you each open each one and it opens up another one and then if you put another folder in there you get another little tab that you can open well that's basically what this is doing now to get the objects in there you just pick them and hold shift and drag and drop them into there and you do that with the collision mesh and see now you can open that and you got these these orange things are like the uh, the I guess you can think of these as a folder because the actual mesh is this green box and the texture is always going to be below it if you have a texture and anytime you make a duplicate it's copying that texture so you know when you rename because you don't want everything to be material or then everything will be you you know you won't be able to have more than one thing because everything will share the same name you just you know you rename one to whatever whatever you want it to be and you see it changes that one so that's just that's just like a folder hierarchy is all it is it confused the hell out of me when I first started messing with this I didn't understand it either especially because all the reference stuff in the wiki is old and outdated and it used an even older thing where there was other crap in there but this is all you need and then you just export it as a DAE and what that'll do is basically z basically zip all this together but instead of a zip it's just it's exporting it as a DAE 
that's basically what it is um, and then of course it'll copy the texture if you added a texture to it it's going to copy it with it into the folder that this is going to wherever you send this which most people most anyone that does anything they'll put it in like the art folder but you can put it in a subfolder too like in your level it ain't got to go in the art folder you can make a folder uh, call it whatever and stick it in there just as long as it's in like the art folder I wouldn't really say put it in the root folder of the of the uh, of your whatever your track is I always just stick stuff in the art folder it just keeps them all together but that's pretty much it that's all that is it's just uh, just like folders that's how you can think of it so the only two you got to make is just them two and if they're not in there like if you got this like this and like that one's not actually in that one it won't work they got to be in there like that for it to read it right just remember this little thing that looks like a well what would that be like a sideways letter Y just think of them as a folder that's all they are.